What's up guys? It's Kayla and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying a new Otome game because I wanted to find one that is in English so it doesn't take me so long in between uploads for a series like Brothers Conflict and Amnesia Later which I'll have coming up very soon. So I came across this app called Honey Magazine which is very similar to Love365 with a bit less content but one of the stories that they have is called My Sweet Proposal and I thought I'd just check it out. I've never read it before so it's going to be a first impression for me too as we play along. But yeah, I thought it might be fun to try something new. If you guys happen to know if this company doesn't like YouTube Let's Plays, or would strike for it, please let me know in the comments and I will cut the series short if that is the case. I don't want to repeat of what happened with Shall We Date. I finally have my channel back in good standing, so I don't want more strikes. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. The cover art for this one kind of reminds me of that, that's one from Voltage, what is it called? My Wedding Seven Rings, or My Forged Wedding. Both of those. Those have like a crossover too, I believe. But it reminded me kind of of those, and I really like both of those games, so I thought I'd like this one too. Ooh, it's starting. All women dream of it. That enticingly sweet marriage proposal. It was destined to be. I want you to marry me. You, the wedding planner, who has always assisted with the happiness of others, who will be the suitor that fate has suddenly brought to your doorsteps. The successor to a large enterprise. A popular wedding designer. The one you could not forget. And in addition, a seductive painter. I can tell you in bed. A famous actor who's capsized your heart. I found my soulmate. Your superior who suddenly returned. I need you in my life. Overcoming numerous incidences and trials of love, will you be able to find your own happiness? Your decisions decide whether or not the man you love will propose to you. Which of them will it be? My sweet proposal, will you marry me? The key to happiness lies within his mischievous kiss. Experience the ultimate romance. Very cute. Oh, The bouquet of happiness glides across the blue sky. The future bride candidates have their arms outstretched. I watch this off from the side, as if it is occurring in another world, and yet, flop. For some reason, the adorable bouquet ends up falling into my hands. Uh-huh. Yes! The bride in her wedding dress who had thrown the bouquet, that is to say my sister, Yuko, smiles happily. She rushes over to me as I hold the bouquet. <laughs> nice catch, sis! You threw that way too far. I did it on purpose. I knew you probably wouldn't participate, sis. Isn't it a problem if a blood relative catches it? It's not a problem at all! Well, I'm not just here as your sister. I'm also here as your wedding planner, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You really should stop brushing people's comments aside so easily. You'll turn Hayato off, you know. Ooh, his name's Hayato! <laughs> That's unlikely. After all, we're in love. I'm envious. Isn't there anyone special for you, sis? I have my hands full with work right now. You've been saying that ever since you started working. You spend way too much time near weddings, yet how many years has it been since you last dated? Well, isn't it time you start seriously thinking about your own happiness? Look at you, bossing me around the moment you're married. I say this teasingly, gently bumping shoulders with Yuko. My sister scowls, but her expression cannot hide her own happiness. I would if I could. Work is important, but so is romance. To think I would hear those words from you, Yuko. <laughs> I hope you find someone, sis. Someone as special as Hayato is to me. It's your turn to find happiness, sis. That's cute. There's no one in my life right now. So the forecast doesn't look too promising. Yuko's wedding finishes without a hitch. And still, wearing my dress, I pass through the busy hotel lobby, heading to work at a brisk pace. Yuko really was beautiful, though. I recall the happy look on my sister's face. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, ma'am. Is now a good time? Yes, we just finished the wedding. I see. Well done. Yuko told me to give you her regards, aunt. I really wanted to go. Too bad. <laughs> you had work to do, so it couldn't be helped. My parents also send you their regards. 
I'll have to visit them sometime soon. The woman smiling on the other end of the phone is Yuko. Yuko? Wait, I thought Yuko was my sister, both my boss and my aunt. My aunt is the owner and manager of a wedding planning company called Marriage Wedding. Recently, it's quietly garnered popularity as a purveyor for celebrities. I'm one of the wedding planners. How did your planning go? At first, when they asked for a garden wedding, I wasn't sure how it would go. But the weather was on our side and Yuko seemed very happy. That's good to know. Well done. I'm returning to the company now. Actually, I can't make my appointment with Sakura. Since an emergency meeting came up, can you go check on the new dress? Of course. I hang up the phone and change my mood from celebration to work. With my head already filled with work, I don't even notice the tall, angry man walking in my direction. Hello, it's me. Just as I thought, she pulled one on us. I fail to notice that he's holding a cup with no cover. Anyway, I'll think of a way to deal with it. I know. His wedding is already... Crash. Ah! Ugh. As we've passed each other, our shoulders make contact and I feel a dreadful warm wet sensation against my chest. I nervously look downwards and see that my pearl pink dress is stained brown. No! I'm sorry, were you burnt? No, I'm fine. For a moment his expression registers anxiousness, but he quickly regains his calm composure and holds his hand out in front of me, as if telling me to hold on for a moment while he talks to a person on the phone. I'm sorry, I'll call you back. Hello, I'm in an emergency over here. I'm sorry, I was careless. No, my mind had been wandering too. Let me pay to get that cleaned. It's alright. I cannot allow that. But you didn't do it on purpose. Why would anyone do it on purpose? The handsome man in front of me lets out a sigh, all the while wearing a slightly mocking smile. Somehow I feel uncomfortable. Really, it's alright. Ugh, oh, what a pain in the neck. Huh? Mm, nothing. Your apology would be enough. That wouldn't do it. Besides, it'd be a problem if things get complicated later. What do you mean? Ugh, sorry, I'm blabbing. I'll make a formal apology to you on a later date. May I receive your name card? At first glance, he appears well-mannered in his responses, but his haughty attitude causes me displeasure, and not wanting to sour my mood further, I hand him my name card. Ooh, okay. I kind of like this so far. My cousin recently got married and I'm a maid of honor for my best friend in April too, so weddings have been on my mind lately. My name is Kayla Michelle. As he receives and examines my name card, something causes him to raise his face up to mine. Marriage wedding. We are a wedding planning company. One of those companies that hold weddings. Actually, the preparation stage is the main part. The preparation. Meeting the bride and the bridegroom. The bridegroom? I've never heard that before. Planning how they want their wedding to be held. That's my job. Huh. Huh. He's the one that asked. As if contemplating something, he stares intently at my name card. However, the next moment, he abruptly glances at his watch. In any case, I promise to make amends on a later date. Okay. I'm sorry, but I don't have time right now. I should also head to the restroom. Wait a sec. As if suddenly struck with an idea, he once again holds up his hand in front of my face. Is this a habit of his? From his expensive looking suit pocket, he retrieves a stiffly folded handkerchief and presses it against my chest. Hey! Stand still. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't use such words to someone I've just met. The overpowering vibe he exudes causes me to clam up. Suddenly, he raises his face and our eyes meet. It might be too late, but if you soak it as much as possible, you may be able to get away with a small stain. The serious expression on his handsomely chiseled features so nearby involuntarily causes my pulse to race. Having left a horrible first impression on me, his abrupt act of kindness throws me off balance. Um, excuse me? Take this with you. But... Do as I say. That tone of his... Hmm, is something wrong? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry, but I must take leave now. I've caused you an inconvenience, but I'm in a hurry right now. Then, as if nothing had occurred at all, he quickly walks past me. I turn around and see his back already off in the distance. I am also in a hurry. He asks for my name card, and yet he doesn't even say his own name. What a rude man. That moment, for some reason, the words Yuko just told me abruptly come to life within me. I really hope you find someone, sis. Someone as special as Hayato is to me. 
Whatever the case, this isn't the type of encounter I want. I shake my head as if to shake off what just happened. I casually use the bouquet to hide my chest and walk off at a brisk pace. With a heavy heart, I return to the office. Kayla, you're crazy. Mademoiselle Kayla. What, did you actually get up at your sister's wedding? Both of you, stop laughing so much. Having been spotted at the office by my fellow wedding planner Mizuki and the decorator Ichida, I have no choice but to tell them what happened. Both of them burst out laughing at the same time. <laughs> Honestly though, what a disaster. And to happen on the day of a celebration? Tell me about it. But he was good looking, right? That makes it even more annoying. Why? He seemed well aware of that fact. That's quite an accusation. Well, he was that rude. But wasn't he a gentleman for giving you that handkerchief? That's why I couldn't really understand him. Regardless of his rudeness, I couldn't really bring myself to dislike him. That's some skill. I've got to take a page from his book. Don't you have more important things to focus on, Uchida? Like your work? Oh, please. Don't even go there, Miss Kayla. By the way... Kayla, are you alright on time? Don't you have a meeting with Sakura? Right, I'll change and leave soon. Do you have something to change into? I was planning on changing from the start, so I placed a suit in my locker yesterday. Well prepared as usual, although only when it comes to work. That doesn't really sound like a compliment. It is a compliment, at least a partial one. Thanks to Mizuki and Uchida, I feel my irritation abating slightly. Feeling internally grateful, I head to my locker. I change from the pearl pink dress to my usual work attire, a black suit. I prepare myself as I transform from dream to reality. That dress, I really liked it. I remember the man's face. We only talked for a few minutes, and yet my impression of a handsome man is already quite negative. Why am I thinking of him again? It keeps bothering me. I find no answer within myself. Attempting to chase the question from my head, I pull out my cell phone and check the time. I have to leave soon. As I attempt to take a step forward, I see the back of a man standing in front of me. My feet stop, and I almost forget how to breathe. In one moment, my mind returns to a few years ago. Keita? It can't be. I'm acting up. Hello, how can I help you? No, I'm fine. My work smile that I mustered up collapses in an instant as that man, standing awkwardly, turns to face me. Why? You must be joking. I cannot find the words to respond to his strained voice. He had always looked slightly upset when he was puzzled, and yet he would never avert his eyes. He was always honest with people that way. The fact that nothing has changed fills me with surprise and nostalgia. Keita! Is it really you, Kayla? I'd like to ask you the same thing, Keita. Ugh. Well, I never expected to run into you here. You stole my words. You still use the same phrases. You haven't changed either, Kata. Really? I've grown a little stronger, thanks to you. And I've always learned to distrust people more. Kata's words causes the wound that I had thought I buried deep within my heart to faintly yet undeniably cry out. Actually, I'll take it back. Uh-huh. You have changed, Kata. You would have never talked to me like that before. I'm no longer the man that I used to be. Hardly seeming amused, he forces himself to smile. Keita Mitsui, the man who I had thought a few years ago was the love of my life, and the man who had broken my heart. Have you been doing well? I like my job, and I guess I'm enjoying every day. What about you, Keita? I get by. Right now, I work at a trading company. So you didn't take the same path as your father, then? No, I guess I didn't. Until a few years ago, we had so much to talk about, we would lose track of time. Yet now, I have no idea what to say to him. <laughs> what is it? No, I just thought it was interesting how we could break up like that and still act normal on the surface right now. What are you going on about now? We can't turn back time now, can we? A very mature perspective. How long do you think it took? for me to be able to reach that conclusion. Huh? You were the one that hurt me. What? How do you think I felt? Weren't you the one that ignored my feelings, Keita? You were the one that left without saying anything. Realizing that we both became very over-emotional, we avert each other's gaze in an attempt to break the awkward tension. Can we not do this now? If we're gonna talk about our past, let's talk about the good times we had. I've forgotten all of the good times. You really think it's my fault, don't you? 
Do you want me to apologize? No, thank you. I purposely answer in a cold, distant manner, and for a moment, see a sad expression cross his face. An exact incarnation of the Keda I had once loved, remembering the love we shared in the past, my chest tightens with sadness. I'm sorry I came across like that. No, I'm the one that should apologize. Seeing the confused expression on my face, as if to erase all the previous awkward tension, Kita gives me the kindest of smiles. So this means you've achieved your dream, then? The fact that you're here, Kayla. He remembered that I wanted to become a wedding planner. With how hard you used to study, how could I forget that? He hasn't changed at all in that sense. But I never imagined you'd be working here. This is my aunt's company. Your aunt? I'm a junior, working here in order to learn from her. Oh, I see. As I give him a small smile and consider what to say next, I finally grasp the situation. I'm sorry I didn't say it earlier. Say what? Congratulations on your marriage! Huh? I'm not getting married. But you're here. Uh, it's not for me. What do you mean? Kayla? I turn to the familiar voice and see Keita's older sister, Chinami. Wearing a look of surprise and kindness, she comes running towards me. Chinami! Is it really you, Kayla? Yes. Honestly, how many years has it been? It's been so long, I can't believe it. I'm sorry I haven't talked to you in so long. Never mind that, but you had me worried. I mean, you suddenly stopped visiting our house. After a while, I heard that you two had broken up. I should have told you myself, Chinami. After how well you treated me. I'm sure you had your reasons. This guy screwed up, didn't he? In response to Chinami's joke, I cannot find it in me to laugh. More importantly, are you finished now? Yes, I've decided on here. Right now, I'm going to talk about the details of the manager. You're going to use our company for your wedding? Our? Kayla. Apparently, she works as a wedding planner here. Really? Oh, I knew I should choose here. Is the client my aunt talked about, Chinami? Congratulations on your marriage. Thank you. Since their family is in politics, I'm sure they're going to have a lavish wedding. You should be my wedding planner. Sis, aren't you going to have a meeting now? Kata casually comes to my aid, and even in my relief, my heart skips a beat. Right, Kata, come and join me. I'm going to go home now. I've got no intention of chaperoning you any further. Nope, you're going to stand in for Hiroki. You promised me, didn't you? Well then, Kayla, see you soon. I'm glad I got to see you. Promise me we'll have tea in the near future. All right. See you. Okay. Chinami waves her hands as she walks off, waving his hand in a similar fashion. Keita also walks away. I think I have mixed feelings about having my ex-boyfriend's sister as my client. I realize that wound I had thought long healed still remained after all this time. I have to go as well. In an attempt to change my mood, I squeeze both of my cheeks together. I carry my feet to Sakura's store. Sucre Marie? I don't know what that says. Sucre Marie? Sorry if you're French. I'm French actually, I just can't speak it. <laughs> Opening the large wooden doors, the white atmosphere spreads out in front of me. Whenever I come here, I feel as if I'm in a dream. Hello, Michelle. Sakura, I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> it's no problem. Actually, you're right on time. Sakura stands up. Sucre Marie is a dress brand that is popular with a wide range of women. My aunt had noticed Sakura's talent at an early stage and had signed a contract with him before he entered the limelight. Can I check out the dresses now? Of course. I want to see them so bad I can hardly contain myself. I want you to see them right away as well. I couldn't keep calm today. Sakura gives me a dreamy smile. The soft expression on his face allows me to finally smile naturally again. In order to check out the dresses, we move into the changing room. The three wedding dresses laid out there are all designed with different materials and forms. They're beautiful. I'm jealous. <laughs> of the woman who gets to wear these dresses. To receive such words of praise, you both fulfill me and do me an honor as a designer. They all look like hits. Mermaid, princess, lace, A-line. If it were me, I don't think I'd be able to choose which one to wear. Michelle, which one is your favorite? Not as a wedding planner, but if you were to wear it in your own wedding, which would you like? All of them. I know that isn't a very helpful answer. They're all so attractive, it's a hard choice. But internally, I'd actually decided the moment I'd seen them. If I were to wear one, I would choose the middle dress. Really? 
Sakura's eyes grow large and round in response to my decision. He has a large bashful smile on his face. Is something the matter? Why did you choose this one? Well, of course there's the dress itself, but the short veil flowing from the tiara, the bracelet instead of gloves, the simple yet complimentary necklace. I think I love the overall balance of this one. Would you like to try it on? Uh-huh. You can't put on the dress because it's a sample, but would you at least like to try on the accessories? Are you sure? It's a new model that you just came up with. I want to see how it would look on a real woman, not a mannequin. In response to Sakura's words, I take a step towards the exquisite dress. My heart's pounding. The excitement before wearing a wedding dress, huh? Isn't that every woman's dream? Can you stand in front of the mirror? I hesitantly place myself in front of the mirror. Sakura carefully dresses me in the accessories. Finally, he gives me a smile of satisfaction. Yes, just as I thought. It's beautiful! The bracelet and necklace sparkle and shine. They're not too gaudy, yet they have a defined presence. It's interesting. Just putting these on makes me forget a little bit about reality. Isn't that our job? Yeah, you're right. We assist them in weaving the magic of a wedding. As a magician's apprentice. Don't you think I'm doing a good job? The finished product is amazing. Standing behind me, Sakura smiles through the mirror. I feel my chest rise and I blush. By the way, how was it? Huh? Your younger sister's wedding. Oh, no. Did you enjoy planning a family member's wedding? It was a little bit awkward, but it made me remember how much I enjoy my work. Was your sister happy? Yes, although she did give me some unnecessary advice. <laughs> oh, what was that? That I need to find someone for me. She said so with the happiest smile ever, though. <laughs> um, it isn't a laughing matter. <laughs> Sorry. If I had met that special someone, I'd already be with him. Could it be that you're letting him pass you by? Could it be that he's waiting right in front of you, Michelle? My mind is just so taken up with the pursuing of my dream. Your dream? Yes, as a wedding planner. Is that why you're studying under Miss Yuiko? Is it Yuiko? Have I been saying Yuko? And it's Yuiko. Hmm, Miss Yuiko right now. My aunt is both a top class wedding planner and manager. It's important to have a dreams and goals. But why don't you focus on some of your passions for work toward your love life as well? As Sakura says this, he seems different from his usual self. It's rare he would say something like that, Sakura. I'll tell you a secret of mine as well. The dress that you chose, Michelle. It's actually very special to me. Don't tell me. Did you make this dress especially for someone? Sakura shrugs his shoulders and merely laughs. He looks like a little boy trying to protect a secret. I decide not to pursue the question any further. These dresses, I wonder what kind of person is going to wear them. I hope it puts a smile on their face. I guarantee they will. Sakura and I smile at each other, then simultaneously we turn to look at the dresses. Will I also find the right person for me someday? That dress suits you well. The man who will say those words to me. Finishing my meeting, I return to the office to find a tenseness in the air. Uchida, who is on the phone, has a pale look on his face. My aunt also seems to be calling someone. Curious, I draw close to Mizuki and ask her. Did something happen? Oh, Kayla. The thing is... No, I'm sorry, ma'am. Even as Mizuki speaks, I can hear Uchida's cries close by. Oh, it is Yuiko. Oh my gosh. How did I miss that eye? <laughs> sorry, guys. Don't apologize unnecessarily. This is an error on the order recipient's part. But, I am responsible for not contacting them earlier. Right now, instead of getting depressed, we need to find a place that will take the order. Yes. Just then, Uchida becomes aware of my presence. With a look verging on tears, he hangs his head. Unable to comprehend the situation, I turn to Mizuki. The night wedding that Uchida is managing tonight. The bouquet that he had planned to use hasn't arrived. What? It seems they made a mistake on the date. Oh dear! So right now we're looking for an alternative. Hearing the situation from Mizuki, an idea suddenly enters my head. A bouquet? Uchida, why don't you make one? Uh-huh. Uchida, you spent all that time practicing. But I still haven't made one properly. Being in a tight spot can lead to opportunities. Miss Kayla, I may be giving reckless advice, but something tells me that this idea will work to our advantage. Try making one. Ma'am! Kayla and Mizuki will support you. 
Won't you? Yes, of course. For our adorable little junior. Mizuki, I'll take full responsibility. Do it however you think is best. Thank you. I make Uchida raise his downcast face and look at him encouragingly. Don't worry, we're here for you. What do you want us to do? Um, alright. Please check our flower stock. And whatever we don't have, we'll need to stop and purchase from a flower shop. I'll list up all the nearby flower shops. Then I'll go check on the stock. Um, honestly, thank you. You can thank us all you want after. Yes, right now let's do our best to bring that smile to our client's face. Yes. Finally, Uchida's face brightens up. Then we each individually prepare for our tasks at hand. One hour before the wedding, Uchida completes the bouquet. With the incident somehow dealt with, I feel as if a burden has been lifted from my shoulders. Misaki and I relax in good spirits. Both of you did a great job. I just got word from Uchida. It seems like the wedding was able to begin without a hitch. So he got there on time then. Was Uchida crying? He tried to hide it, but he was pretty emotional. He said to give my regards to both of you. He'll have to take us to a fancy French restaurant now. <laughs> yeah! Both of you did really well. We were able to work it out with this little hassle. It really is due to both of you being here. We both smile brightly in response to her appreciation. Well then, I'll be off now. I'm sorry you had to work so late on your day off. I'm sure your little ones miss you. Today my husband is looking after them. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Mizuki's expression transforms to that of a mother as we watch her off. My aunt pats me on the shoulder. I have something work-related to discuss with you. What is it? My aunt holds up two pictures in her hand, then places them on her desk. The first picture is my ex-boyfriend's sister, smiling happily, and the other picture is of the kind wedding dress designer. Chinami. Do you know Miss Mitsu? Yes, she's the older sister of a friend of mine. Well, what a coincidence. It's been decided that we're to plan her wedding. Why do you have a picture of Sakura as well? His marriage has also been decided. Really? So that's why he seemed different than usual. One more thing. We've just received a new wedding request. The heir of the Toto Resorts owner is getting married. Toto Resorts? That huge company? That's right. We also have Tsukishima, the elder brother. Wow, those are some pretty extravagant requests. Yes, and as a planner, they'll require the necessary experience and resources to take care of them. That's why I want to leave you in charge of one of these weddings. Me? I think it's about time, Kayla, that you were given an opportunity like this. Aunt, ma'am. Seeing you today, Kayla, helped me decide this. You're growing into an adept wedding planner. It's been three years since I've become a wedding planner. Receiving such kind words from my boss fills me with both happiness and a deep burning drive. Which wedding will I be assigned to? That's for you to decide. But I have no idea who Mr. Toto is. There's no picture, but here's his basic profile. There are small memo-like notes next to the picture. Masaya Toto, the successor of a large resort company. My ex-boyfriend, Keita Mitsui's older sister, Chinami Mitsui. My work colleague and a famous designer, Ryoichi Sakura. The actor at the height of his career, Takaru Tsukishima. Whose happiness will I be of assistance to? Whoever you take on, I'm sure you'll learn a lot from them. Of course, that applies to people not included here, too. I... I still haven't realized that this work decision will be the catalyst for my love story. Ooh! Dude, so Sakura's getting married? I thought he was one of our love options. Is this gonna be like that movie, The Wedding Planner? Okay, okay. Toto's resort air. Your encounter was a disaster, but what does he hide behind his arrogant behavior, Messiah Toto? You sealed your promise with a kiss, right? The self-confident air. Okay, that's him. Oh, there's nothing under Sakura's. And nothing under his either. I wonder if that's like just an air. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of leaning towards Sakura because that sounds super interesting. Will it let us pick him? Okay, yes, it does let us pick him. So, if you guys are down to play Sakura, let me know in the comments and I will go ahead and continue this Let's Play. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!